Hi, my name is Bianca Laverne Jones. It's freezing in here. Mm, that's Linda. Oh, your mom and dad smoke? Guess so. It isn't mine. <laughs> I'll be damned. You think they mind if I go ahead? <sighs> I used to enjoy this. Doesn't it make you paranoid? It only heightens whatever mood I'm in. Mm. I tried it a few times, but my highs were bad. Bad mood, I guess. Oh, yes. <laughs> I sure do enjoy this mind easing blissfulness. Mm, let me try a little. Maybe I can conquer it this time. Oh my God, that does not feel good. My booze just exploded and I'm not kidding. I can feel all the little bits and pieces burning to ashes. <laughs> mm. Here, drink mm. this. Mm. <laughs> now that's good. Yeah. <laughs> Did your husband smoke? Binyam? No. He's too much of a health nut, but Alvin does. Who's Alvin? Uh, a guy I'm seeing. You didn't tell me you had a boyfriend. I told you Benyam and I are just married for convenience. Mm, you always were a little eccentric. <laughs> just trying to live it like I see it. Mm. What is that? What? That. That face. You keep making that face. Do you think I'm too by the book? I thought you said you needed a friend, not a life coach. Serious. You mean... How you mean? You know, like, can only color inside the lines. Tell me the truth. Because I really do want to know, you know how when you were in grade school, there were always some kids that just naturally colored outside the lines. Mm -hmm. They just scribble wildly all over the page, mixing colors, flattening the crayons. You know, and those were the ones you always paid special attention to because, well, because they were scary. Were they artistic or autistic? At six years old, I'm sitting there completely stressed out. I mean, shit. And then I, when I pass a line, I have to flip the page over and start over. I hate coloring to this very day. The lines always made me crazy. Because, I mean, who cares anyway, right? What if I wasn't in the mood to color a dinosaur? Mark wants us to have this threesome and <coughs> part of me is excited by the idea. I kind of want to because it would be something different than just the everyday rigmarole. But I'm so not free. Look at me. I'm a mess. This is one of those times when I want to be able to scribble wildly all over the page. But I just can't because the lines are there and I can see them. And then I think about the fact that Mark's asking me to do it and I just get so pissed at him. Men are. I mean, God love them, but they tricky. Especially once they learn our language. You know that I love women talk, right? What they really mean is I love pussy and I want as many of them as I'm allowed. They separate the body part from the actual person. Oh my God. What? I just, I just, light bulb. That's all, you are so right. Sometimes the way he looks at me, it makes me feel like I'm just a big vagina. He yep. doesn't even see me at all. Been there. But I don't necessarily think he doesn't love me either. I don't know. How do you feel? I don't know. Yes, you do. You've been this way since school. Stop pretending like you don't know what you're feeling. You admit you're afraid to say it, but don't be in denial, you know. No, I don't. I'm looking for a feeling, but there's nothing in there but angry. I'm so mad. That's a start. That's where I started. But exactly what am I mad about? Am I mad at him or am I mad at myself? That night that I tried to show you, you know, how to masturbate. Ah, I know. I freaked. Sitting there crying on that damn compact. Nothing was working right. And I never tried it again. 
You and wanted how to ironic. Here I am, eight years later, facing the possibility of divorce with a diagnosis of vaginal depression. You wanted to lose the lines then. You thought I was weird, didn't you? You thought I was trying to hit on you. You weren't? No! I mean, I had had my experiences already, but with you, no. That is not what this was at all. You tried to do it for me. How else were you gonna get it? I tried to explain where everything was, but you you couldn't take direction very well. So I figured, what the hell? We're friends. I'll just show her. It seems like it's just a part, but it's a very important part. <laughs> but who does that? Nobody does that. You only freaked out because you liked it. I only Say what you will, you liked it, and you wanted to go further. Not with me, but with the experience. Just to know what it was like. And that scared you and you got mad at me because it was convenient. Certainly easier than admitting you wanted something you thought was bad. Easier than admitting that you were embarrassed because you felt vulnerable. I did. I know you did. You wrote me a letter saying you didn't want to be in love with a woman. That was some good crack you were smoking. <laughs> I said that. Mm -hmm. My gift is that I can see people completely but who they were before all the rules and boundaries happened to them. That's no one but Linda Lewis stuck up there in that vagina of yours. And trust me, she does not belong up there. <laughs> it's the truth. Neither of you are people who love the lines. Okay. You're high. Maybe. Are you paranoid? A little. Would you be opposed to trying to show me again? So that's what you meant by friend? I just need, I want the whole experience. I know it doesn't mean anything necessarily, but I'm dying here. Maybe some death is what you need. <laughs> 